For 50 years, ACEC New York has been recognizing the outstanding, the exceptional, the best engineering projects from across the globe. Thank you all for joining us as we celebrate our golden anniversary. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to ACEC New York's 50th Annual Engineering Excellence Awards. We honor 130 projects tonight from over 70 firms. These projects test the boundaries of what is possible and dare to imagine a better future for New York and the world beyond. Engineers, in collaboration with architects and contractors, make these projects possible. We are proud to recognize the excellent work of these men and women tonight and for the last five decades. Please join ACEC New York in recognizing our Silver Award winners. For excellence in the category of Studies, Research, and Consulting Engineering Services, AKRF. And the clients are Dormitory Authority of the State of New York and the City University of New York. Greenman Peterson. And the client is National Highway Institute. VHB. And the client is New York State Department of Transportation. For excellence in the category of Building Technology Systems. Conchessi Engineering. And the client is Ropes and Gray. H2M Architects and Engineers. And the client is West Hampton Beach Fire District. Durrani Engineering and Land Survey. And the client is New York City Department of Design and Construction. For excellence in the category of Structural Systems, AECOM. And the client is Schoharie County Department of Public Works. Arab. And the client is San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. CNS Companies, and the client is Genesee County. DeSimone Consulting Engineers, and the client is the Continuum Company. KS Engineers, WSP USA Joint Venture, and the clients are Railroad Construction Company and Long Island Railroad. Michael Baker International, and the client is Wisconsin Department of Transportation. For excellence in the category of Environmental, Ecology, and Environment Engineering, and the client is New York State Department of Environmental Conservation. For excellence in category of waste and stormwater, Arab. And the client is New York City Economic Development Corporation. Dewberry. And the client is New York City Economic Development Corporation. For excellence in the category of water resources, Erdman Anthony. And the client is City of Buffalo Water Division. For excellence in the category of transportation, B. Thayer Associates, and the client is New York City Department of Transportation. Gibbons Esposito and Boyce Engineers, and the client is New York State Department of Transportation, Region 10. Michael Baker International, and the client is New York City Department of Design and Construction. SI Engineering, and the client is New York City Department of Design and Construction. For excellence in the category of special projects, Arup, and the client is Kevin Dolan. Delta Engineers, Architects and Land Surveyors, and the client is Mercy House of the Southern Tier. H2M Architects and Engineers, and the client is New York State Office of Parks, Recreation and Historic Preservation. WSP Parsons Brinkerhoff, and the client is New York State Department of Transportation. For excellence in the category of energy, AECOM. And the client is New York City Department of Corrections. Please welcome our hosts for this evening, ACEC New York Chair, Mark McEnany, and ACEC New York President, Jay Simpson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Mark McEnany, and I am thrilled to welcome all of you to our 50th Annual Engineering Excellence Awards Gala. At this time, I ask you all to rise for our national anthem as sung by Angelo Mazzone.
Community East in New York has been honoring member projects for five decades. Each year at this event, the most interesting, innovative, and exceptional projects are showcased, bringing recognition to achievements that, unfortunately, often go unrecognized. Some of you have attended previous Engineering Excellence Galas and have seen the program, as well as the industry, evolve into what it is today. Fifty years ago, many of the innovative ideas behind the silver award-winning projects you've just seen, as well as the projects we've yet to recognize, were impossible dreams. Now, we pause not to only look back at how far we've come, but look forward to how far we can and will still go. I am honored to stand before you at this moment in time and thank you for helping shape our past and our future. I would like to take a moment of welcome to welcome some of ACEC's colleagues joining us tonight. From Washington, D.C., ACEC President Dave Raymond and incoming ACEC Chair of the Board, Sash Bakori. From ACEC Canada, President John Gamble. Also joining us this evening are Anthony Fasano from the New York State Society of Professional Engineers and Benjamin Prosky from AIA New York Chapter. Lastly, we welcome the Mayor of Poughkeepsie, Robert Rolison. I also welcome all the agency and authority representatives who took the time to celebrate the engineering industry with us tonight. Thank you all for joining us for this milestone occasion. Now, while we don't have time to recognize the full 50 years of projects in one evening, we do have time to uh, we appreciate your respectful silence as we give each of these exceptional accomplishments the accolades they deserve. At this time, I'd like to turn the program over to my co-host for this evening, ACEC New York President Jay Simpson. Thanks, Mark. Good evening, everyone. I am very excited to be here on the 50th anniversary of Engineering Excellence. The film industry has the Oscars, Broadway has the Tonys, sports have their MVP and other recognitions, and ACEC in Washington, D.C. copies whatever we do. While the largest number of attendees to go to a movie is over 100 million people, Billions of people benefit from the projects you all create. So tonight is our Oscars, and we say thank you, congratulations, way to go, as a small token for making the world we live in a better place. <laughs> 50 years ago, we didn't have Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. We have come so far in this age of information, and we are just celebrating that leap of progress among other here tonight. So please, while you're being quiet, feel free to take a photo, take a selfie, and tweet it at our hashtag, which is on the board, EEANY50th, and share with your colleagues. Be sure to follow this hashtag, as well as ACEC New York on Twitter, as we live tweet tonight's event. We have a great celebration planned, and something special to kick it off tonight. The cast of Hamilton, the entire cast of Hamilton, is performing tonight at the Richard Rogers Theater, just down the block, as they always do on a Saturday night. But as a special treat, I do have two tickets to Hamilton in December. And at 9.30 tonight, we will review the Twitter hashtag. And whoever has posted the most creative tweets using the hashtag will win these two tickets. And if none of them are creative, I get to keep them. ACEC New York will tweet at you that you've won, and you can pick up your tickets in the photo room. So now I can tell our director of marketing that I fully support social media in the initiative, correct? So here's a fun fact. Did you know that 50 years ago, was the first time someone was preserved cryogenically with the intent of future resuscitation. It was also 50 years ago that the Buffalo Bills lost in the AFC Championship and have almost been resusc 
resuscitated four times since that, but science does have limitations. Tuition, room, and board and fees were less than $4,000. Sorry, millennials, what it is today. Madison Square Garden opened, and tickets for Billy Joel had already sold out. ACEC NY, then known as NYACE, awarded six scholarships of $500 each. And remember, that went a lot further in those days. NYACE was the first association in ACEC to start engineering excellence, so both ACEC and ACEC New York share this 50th anniversary, though if anyone asks, of course, they are copying us. Um, firms recognized for award-winning projects at that first program included current firms Siska, Severud, what's now AECOM, and Lero, all of whom are re represented here tonight, which is an accomplishment in and of itself. I also went back through some older files during our office cleanup and found these unique award-winning projects, which totally broke barriers in their own time. Like this winner from the Building Technology Systems category, and this one from the Water Resources category. It's amazing what we can accomplish in only 50 years. While we are looking back and celebrating the success of our members and the amazing contributions they have made, the projects we recognize tonight represent the future. The results of the hard work of the men and women in this room make people's lives better all around the world. I never forget how essential your work is to our, our continuously evolving world, and I am pleased to be instrumental in recognizing your great work. I look forward to seeing the creative and innovative projects in the years to come. It is also a great honor to have two of New York's outstanding leaders in Congress joining us tonight. Both Congressman Maloney and Congressman Katto understand the value all you bring and the dividends paid when your projects go from design to completion. We are all working towards the same goal of a better New York. I welcome both of you tonight. As every year, I am proud to recognize the outstanding panel of engineering excellence judges, which this year included public and private sector representatives, academia, media, design, contractors, and even an architect or two, because we believe, if nothing, we need to be inclusive. Judging took place in, in New York City in October to review the preliminary engineering excellence entries. Based on the criteria of originality, technical value, social and economic considerations, and complexity. I would personally like to thank these 2017 Engineering Excellence judges whose expertise made tonight possible. May I ask the judges who are in attendance tonight to please stand and be recognized. <laughs> On behalf of ACEC New York, thank you for donating your time and expertise to our program and for making tonight possible. At this time, I'm happy to turn the program over to the chair of our Engineering Excellence Committee, a true champion of the program, and ACEC New York. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Eric Arseman. And, and before I let Eric actually start to talk, I would like to make a brief announcement that after five years of dedication, Eric is stepping down of the ch as chair of the Engineering Excellence Committee. It has been an honor and a privilege to share this stage with you for the last five years. And as a small token of our thanks, we have a special gift for you. So thank you for all you've done and for us as an industry. And we also have flowers for Eric's wife as a thank you to her as well. That's really sweet. So before I begin, luckily a, a little birdie told me that I was going to be given a little gift and I didn't know about the flowers, which is really sweet. Um, so, oh, and by the way, as an April Fool's joke on myself, I have laryngitis. So, so um, I'll try and make this quick. Jay is so concerned about timing for this event. I don't want the orchestra to start playing and the microphone to disappear into the ground. Thank you. <laughs> so this organization has been very meaningful to me and continues to be. Um, I can't stress how important it is to each of us and to the profession. From the personal friendships to the professional connections, I continue to gain so much. 
this event, besides honoring our achievements, raises money for, among other things, supporting the next generation of engineers. And there's nothing more important than that. And I think that's one of the most important things we can do. So I want to just give a, a few quick thank yous. First off, the ACEC staff. They do so much, they do such a great job, and for my five years as chair, uh, it would have been so much different without that group of people assisting me and guiding me. A uh, few of you know that Gina, yeah, there you are, Gina, um, one day had come to me five years ago and she said, I really think you'd be great as chair, and if it weren't for her, I wouldn't have been doing this, so I owe a specific thank you to Gina. Um, our committee. Our committee, who we're going to um, recognize in a second, uh, they do a lot too, and they really help. They do a lot of really hard work, and what they do, they really help us accomplish what we accomplish. So, thank you to the committee. Uh, thank you to my firm, Sam Schwartz Engineering, and to Sam himself. They've always supported the time I put into this, and they realize what a great cause it is. And finally, thank you to my lovely wife, Narina, who I'm happy you just got flowers. Um, she's always there for me, and I really appreciate it. All right, now to the teleprompter. So I'm amazed at this incredible turnout we have had tonight. As our industry continues to grow and change, so too does this program. And I'm very proud to announce that this 50th anniversary is by far our largest engineering excellence gala to date, with 800 people in attendance. Let's have a round of applause for everyone here in this room tonight, helping us achieve this milestone. We wouldn't be here without the efforts of the Engineering Excellence Committee. Will those committee members in attendance please stand and be recognized? And before I continue, I'll just say that this committee this year, we had a goal of raising $300,000. We raised $345,000. And it's such a good cause, ACEC and the scholarship. So congratulations to the committee. So thank you all for continuing to push our goals further each year, both within this program and within our profession. Congratulations to all of you. Our sponsorship program started in 2013 to support the gala and the scholarship fund. Since the initial launch, the committee has not only achieved, but has surpassed each year's sponsorship goal, including this year. And as I just said, each year I get to stand up here and tell you that we've hit a new milestone. We can't thank our sponsors enough for recognizing how important this program is for the industry. So now, I'd like to personally recognize those sponsors, and lucky for us, it's a very long list. So our diamond sponsors, CHA, Jaros, Baum, and Bulls, <laughs> right? And STV. Sorry, a lot. two years ago, I messed up JBB's name, and I've never lived it down, so I just said it slowly. Um, our platinum sponsor, HDR. Our gold sponsors, AECOM, Cerami and Associates, DeSimone Consulting Engineers, Hacks, Hazen and Sawyer, KS Engineers, Langen Engineering, NV5, Stantec, Thornton Tomasetti, and WSP Parsons Brinkerhoff. And our silver sponsors, Cameron Engineering and Associates, LK McLean Associates, Michael Baker International Incorporated, and PW Grocer. I'd also like to thank our gala program advertisers as well as our patron tables. Tonight's success is also your success. Thank you all for your generosity and for supporting this essential program. One more round of applause. I don't remember ever reading that many names off. It's really impressive. So once again, thank you to all our sponsors. So I don't want to say that Jay and his staff push our committee to sponsorships and scholarships, but this is the tuxedo he initially wanted me to wear. <laughs> Seriously, guys? I mean, that's the first time I saw this. When he started talking about having it light up, I drew the line uh, and said I wouldn't wear it. So there we go. In all seriousness, engineering excellence not only generates support for ACC New York and our mission, but also for what I think is the most important thing, our scholarship program. The ACC New York Scholarship Fund has generated more than $700,000 for third and
and fourth year engineering students since the program began. This program is crucial to the future of engineering and as young people enter the profession and become the up and coming principals of our firms, excuse me, may I ask the scholarship committee chair, Stephen Abenshine, to join me here on the stage. is so bright, I don't know if he's on stage or not. There he is. There. It's really like right in my face. Thanks, Stephen. Towards this goal each year during Engineering Excellence, we honor two outstanding New York agencies with the Award of Merit, each of whom has a $5,000 scholarship awarded to just a deserving student in their name. The first Award of Merit was given in 2010, and since that time, we have awarded over $50,000 to the top ACEC New York scholarship applicants through this special recognition. At this time, ACEC New York would like to honor those past recipients. The Award of Merit is given to agencies or entities that demonstrate exceptional dedication and support for the built environment in New York. The following agencies and authorities have earned the ACEC New York Award of Merit. Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. Metropolitan Transportation Authority. New York State Department of Transportation. Metropolitan Transportation Authority. New York City Department of Environmental Protection. New York State Department of Transportation. New York State Thruway Authority. New York City Department of Design and Construction. New York State Environmental Facilities Corporation. New York City Department of Transportation. Dormitory Authority of the State of New York.
still have two new awards of merit to give out tonight. Our first award of merit is presented to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, New York Division. On October 29, 2012, Superstorm Sandy made landfall in the tri-state area, causing extreme flooding and damages. Within hours of Sandy's passing, New York District personnel were mobilizing resources to begin providing support to the region, even though in some cases, these same employees had been severely impacted by the storm on a personal level. The district played key roles in supporting FEMA missions to dewater subway tunnels for the MTA, Amtrak, and PATH stations, as well as the Battery Park underpass and the Hugh Carey Tunnel. The district also played a key role in collecting almost 4 million cubic yards of debris, both on the ground to help communities get back on their feet, as well as on the water to reopen the third largest portion in the U.S. Port, excuse me, in the U.S. Post Sandy, New York District began work on an unprecedented near-term repair and coastal restoration mission, placing more than 8 million cubic yards of sand onto New York beaches, including Rockaway Beach, Coney Island, Kilgo Beach, and West Hampton. Following completion of the near-term coastal restoration, the district turned its focus to long-term coastal storm manage a damage reduction projects designed to increase the resiliency of New York's coastline completing construction on initiatives like the Seagate Reach Project in Coney Island and some areas on Fire Island, as well as initiating new construction on a comprehensive flood risk reduction project in Long Beach, New York. On behalf of the engineering industry, ACEC New York recognizes the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers New York Division with the Award of Merit. Accepting the award on behalf of the Army Corps of Engineers is Colonel David Caldwell. Policies and investments that encourage 
collaboration between the public and private sectors to promote common interests and goals. Their leadership in the metropolitan New York area has broad implications beyond their membership borders, and their success is shared by all New Yorkers. Their mission, promoting the growth and success of the construction industry in New York City, is their cornerstone, and they show their passion for its pursuit in all their endeavors. On behalf of the engineering industry, ACEC New York recognizes the New York Building Congress with the Award of Merit. And accepting the award on behalf of the Building Congress is President and CEO, Carlos Chisura. Thank you, Eric uh, and Jay. Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody. Um, I walked in. I thought I was at a building congress event for a minute because there are so many of our members, our board members, our supporters, um, and I think that's very telling because it says that this industry is united in so many things. And no matter what's happening across the country or internationally, we know that in New York City and New York State, the building industry continues to grow, continues to shine, and continues to do innovative and great things because of partnerships, because of relationships, because of friendships, and because of organizations like ACE. So I thank you for that. Um, I started three months ago, so I am really just here standing uh, on the shoulders of giants in this industry, uh, people at the Building Congress who built it, uh, a special thank you to my predecessor, Richard Anderson, who spent 23 years really building up the organizations. Let's give Dick a round of applause. A, um, a special thank you to all the Building Congress members and board members who are here. I am not going to mention everybody's name. That's how I get in trouble, but you know who you are. I do want to recognize one man who is a chair emeritus, uh, someone who has really built a legacy in New York City, New York State, and at the Building Congress, and that's our very own Dominic Servideo. Dominic, thank you for all that you do, not just for the Building Congress, but for the entire industry. And, and I'm just gonna leave you with this. Look, we, we've got some challenging times ahead. We are not sure what's going on with infrastructure spending across the country. We don't know what's coming out of Washington. Uh, there's budget negotiations in Albany as we speak, but we know one thing, that New York is the center of the world. New York is where it's at. New York is where great engineering happens. It's where things are created. It's where things are designed. It's where the future begins, and that's because of all of you in this room. So keep up the great work. I'm honored and humbled to work with you, and I look forward to many years of progress ahead. Thank you. Thanks, Eric. Congratulations to our current and past award of merit winners, showing the true public-private partnerships that exist within our industry that remove boundaries to get things done. At this time, we will present two $5,000 scholarships in the name of the Award of Merit honorees to two New York engineering students. Our first student, recipient of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers named scholarship, is Joanna Zoe. Joanna's interest in engineering is matched only by her fascination with New York City. She realizes the difficult and often unnoticed work that goes into making a city function, and she hopes to apply her skills as a structural engineer to projects like the Oculus. On her journey towards her future career, Joanna has donated her time to ASC, ASCE, Habitat for Humanity, and Engineers Without Borders. Our second student, recipient of the New York Building Congress Award of Merits, Merit Scholarship, is Aaron Appel. Young Aaron's love of science and math quickly grew into a flourishing interest in an engineering career as he learned more about the field. 
the experience he gained during his time at Columbia, performing structural analysis as an intern, overseeing a water systems project with Engineers Without Borders, designing aircraft components for NASA with the Columbia Space Initiative, have all bolstered his decision to work as a consulting engineer in New York State. Please join me in congratulating Joanna and Aaron, our 2017 Award of Merit Scholarship winners. I hope all of tonight's scholarship recipients remembered their resumes. There are over 800 people here tonight, and you may run out of copies, so good luck. And also, don't form a big line trying to get these folks to work for you. As you all know, our organization thrives on the dedication of our committee volunteers. The success of the scholarship program is based on hours donated by the committee to promote the program, review applications, and generally encourage the next generation of engineers. This year, thanks to their efforts, as well as the generosity of our donors, 24 engineering students will receive $67,500 in scholarships this year. Please join me in recognizing the members of this committee. Every year we see new faces in our list of scholarship recipients. It may be that 50 years later these professional engineers will attend this very event and thank us here tonight for starting them on their path to success. These winners will be recognized at other ACEC New York events in the coming months. I know you will all be excellent mentors, supporters, and role models for these professionals of tomorrow. Congratulations to all of our scholarship winners and we are looking forward to living in the future that you designed. Just as the program would not be successful without our committee, so too is the scholarship fund dependent on the generosity of our member firms. These firms recognize the importance of planting the seeds of success today that will blossom into thriving young professionals of tomorrow. And I promise that's the last gardening metaphor I will use tonight. I thank these firms for their dedication and I encourage those firms not listed to consider a name scholarship in the future to the ACEC New York Scholarship Fund. As we honor the remaining awards, I ask for your attention and consideration of the winners. The quietest table in the house will be given a prize selected by us. Might be another set of tickets. Might be, might not be. Please note the prize may be the satisfaction of knowing you were quiet and respectful and maybe an extra dessert. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing our gold and platinum award winners. The following projects have won gold awards. For excellence in the category of studies, research, and consulting engineering services, CH2M for Waterfront Facilities Maintenance Management System, Inspection Guidelines, Manual Update, and the client is New York City Economic Development Corporation. Ecology and Environment Engineering for Niagara River Area of Concern Restoration Design. And the client is United States Army Corps of Engineers, Buffalo District. Hazen and Sawyer Arcadis Joint Venture for Load Relocation to Improve Water Quality in the Western Bays. And the client is Nassau County Department of Public Works. STV Cambridge Systematics, AKRF Tri Venture for Cross Harbor Freight Program Tier 1 Environmental Impact Statement. And the client is the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. VHB for Southern State Parkway Traffic Safety Program. And the client is New York State Department of Transportation. For excellence in the category of Building Technology Systems, Cameron Engineering and Associates for Barbara H. Hagen Center for Nursing, and the client is Malloy College. Pathfinder Engineers and Architects for Binghamton University Boiler Decentralization, and the client is Binghamton University. Wendell for Peace Bridge U.S. Commercial Warehouse Renovation, and the client is Buffalo and Fort Erie Public Bridge Authority. For excellence in the category of structural systems, Delta Engineers, Architects, and Land Surveyors for Bank of Utica Corporate Office Renovation. And the client is Bank of Utica. 
Michael Baker International for World Trade Center mitigation and resiliency improvements. And the client is Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. Parsons for Throgs Neck Bridge Orthotropic Deck Repair. And the clients are Metropolitan Transportation Authority Bridges and Tunnels and Triborough Bridge and Tunnel Authority. Severud Associates Consulting Engineers for 35XV. And the client is Alchemy Properties. STV for Adult Behavioral Health Center, Bronx Psychiatric Center. And the client is New York State Office of Mental Health. Tectonic Engineering and Surveying Consultants for Pier House at Brooklyn Bridge Park. And the client is Toll Brothers. Thornton Tomasetti for Socar Tower. And the client is Socar. Urban Engineers of New York for reconstruction of the 44th Drive Pier. And the client is City of New York Parks and Recreation. WSP Parsons Brinkerhoff for 432 Park Avenue. And the client is CIM Group. For excellence in the category of surveying and mapping technology, Delta Engineers, Architects and Land Surveyors for Historic Roxbury Motel Expansion Laser Scan. And the client is the Roxbury Contemporary Catskill Lodging. For excellence in the category of environmental, OBG for Nano Center Innovative Wetland Mitigation. And the client is Mohawk Valley Edge. For excellence in the category of waste and stormwater, MRB Group Engineering, Architecture and Surveying for Newark Wastewater Treatment Facility. And the client is Village of Newark. BW Grocer Consulting and Gannett Fleming for Advanced Wastewater Filtration System. And the client is Brookhaven National Laboratory under contract with the United States Department of Energy. For excellence in the category of water resources, H2M Architects and Engineers for wellhead treatment at plant number four. And the client is Rosalind Water District. Mott McDonald for Liberty Island Water and Wastewater Upgrade. And the client is Jersey City Municipal Utilities Authority. For excellence in the category of transportation, AECOM for reconstruction of West 215th Step Street. And the client is New York City Department of Design and Construction. LK McLean Associates for design built reconstruction of New York 347. And the client is New York State Department of Transportation. LaBella Associates for Midtown Redevelopment Project. And the client is City of Rochester. Simcoe Engineering for John F. Kennedy Airport Landside Traffic Operations. And the client is Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. Tectonic Engineering and Surveying Consultants for Herald Interlocking Structures in Queens. And the client is Tudor Perini Corporation. WSP Parsons Brinkerhoff for Wyandanche Intermodal Transit Facility. And the clients are Long Island Railroad and Town of Babylon. For excellence in the category of special projects, Conchessi Engineering for 1,000 kilowatts power generation. And the client is Sage Realty. H2M Architects and Engineers for the Bristol Assisted Living at Lake Grove. And the client is the Engel Berman Group. LK McLean Associates for Kaler's Pond Site Improvements. And the client is Town of Brookhaven. MJ Engineering and Land Surveying for Transformation of the New York State Fairgrounds. And the client is New York State Office of General Services. VHB for Lower Concourse Infrastructure Initiative. And the client is New York City Economic Development Corporation. Woodard and Curran for Lorenzen Park Redevelopment and Preservation. And the client is Village of Larchmont. For excellence in the category of energy, Conchessi Engineering. For 10 Hanover Square, emergency power redistribution, and the client is UDR. For excellence in the category of industrial manufacturing process and facilities, Delta Engineers, Architects, and Land Surveyors. For Upstate Shredding New Recycling Facility, and the client is Upstate Shredding. The following projects have won Platinum Awards. For excellence in the category of Studies, Research, and Consulting Engineering Services, AKRF, 
for Eastside Coastal Resiliency Project Feasibility Study and Pre-Scoping Services. And the clients are New York City Department of Design and Construction, New York City Department of Parks and Recreation, and Mayor's Office of Recovery and Resiliency. Arab for MLAB. And the client is Arab. Dagger Engineering for Passive House on the Rise. And the client is FX Fowl Architects. Hazen and Sawyer for New York City Department of Environmental Protection Water Energy Nexus Study. And the client is New York City Department of Environmental Protection. HDR for Greenhouse Gas Building Retrofit Study. And the client is New York City Mayor's Office of Sustainability. For excellence in the category of building technology systems. AKF Group. For American University in Central Asia, New Campus. And the client is American University in Central Asia. Arab for National Forum of Music. And the client is City of Rosaf, Poland. Loring Consulting Engineers. For the Cooper Hewitt Smithsonian Design Museum. And the client is Bayer Blinder Bell Architects and Planners. For excellence in the category of structural systems. D. Simone Consulting Engineers, 4 100 East 53rd Street, and the client is RFR. Gil Sands Murray Steffick for Porcelanosa, and the client is Porcelanosa Group. Greenman Peterson for Ellison Avenue Bridge Replacement Design Build, and the client is Metropolitan Transportation Authority, Long Island Railroad. Hardesty in Hanover for Garden State Parkway Bridge over Great Egg Harbor. And the client is New Jersey Turnpike Authority. Leslie E. Robertson Associates for the City University of New York Advanced Science Research Center. And the client is City University of New York. User Rutledge Consulting Engineers for Foundations for 520 Park Avenue. And the client is Zeckendorf Development. The Gateway Transhutchin Partnership, a joint venture of WSB, Parsons Brinkerhoff, AECOM, and STV for Amtrak right-of-way preservation concrete casing. And the client is Amtrak. WSP Parsons Brinkerhoff for United States Tennis Association Arthur Ashe Stadium Roof. And the client is United States Tennis Association. For excellence in the category of surveying and mapping technology. Ocean and Coastal Consultants, Cowie. For citywide waterfront mapping, phase three. And the client is New York City Economic Development Corporation. For excellence in the category of environmental. Barton and LeJudas for Ithaca Falls Overlook Environmental Restoration Project. And the client is City of Ithaca. For excellence in the category of waste and stormwater. Greeley and Hansen for Bowery Bay Wastewater Treatment Plant Emergency Pump Around System. And the client is New York City Department of Environmental Protection. Hazen and Sawyer, Arcadis Joint Venture, and Cameron Engineering for Bay Park Sewage Treatment Plant Infrastructure Resiliency Enhancements. And the client is Nassau County Department of Public Works. For excellence in the category of water resources, Arcadis U.S. for Reeves Newsom Water Supply Station. And the client is Village of Scarsdale. Watts Architecture and Engineering for New York State Thruway Authority, New York Division Flooding Mitigation. And the client is New York State Thruway Authority. For excellence in the category of transportation, Burns Engineering for Runway Modernization at Stewart International Airport. And the client is the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. Creighton Manning Engineering for Albany Traffic Signal and ITS Improvements. And the client is City of Albany. HDR for ITS Truck Intrusion Warning Systems. And the client is New York State Department of Transportation. Michael Baker International for CT Fast Track. And the client is Connecticut Department of Transportation. Stantec Consulting for Long Island Railroad Design Build. Johnson Avenue Yard. And the client is Pecon Shivoni 2. Wendell for Niagara Falls Intermodal Transportation Center. And the client is City of Niagara Falls. For excellence in the category of special projects. CNS Companies for SUNY Cortland Student Life Center. And the client is 
SUNY Cortland. CNS Companies for SUNY Plattsburgh Hawkins Hall Pond. And the client is SUNY Plattsburgh. Cameron Engineering and Associates for Wyandance Village. And the client is Albany's Organization. Hacks for New York City Housing Authority Site Lighting Upgrades. And the client is New York City Housing Authority. KS Engineers for transformation of Astor Place and Cooper Square. And the client is New York City Department of Design and Construction. Sam Schwartz Engineering for East 91st Street Marine Transfer Station Safety Study and Design. And the client is Asphalt Green. WSP Parsons Brinkerhoff for Humphrey Nature Center at Letchworth State Park. And the client is New York State Office of Parks, Recreation, and Historic Preservation. For excellence in the category of energy, Jeros Baum and Bowles for Central Energy Plant Phase One. And the client is Columbia University. OLA Consulting Engineers for Stone Barn's Energy Use Reduction Program. And the client is Stone Barn Center for Food and Agriculture. For excellence in the category of industrial and manufacturing processes and facilities, Urban Engineers of New York. For replacement of the dynamometer system. And the client is Westchester County, New York. ACEC New York, leaders in the business of engineering. Despite our capable staff's best efforts, I have found I've made way, my way back up on stage tonight. And I have the pleasure of introducing both of tonight's Diamond Award Masters of Ceremony. Representative Sean Patrick Maloney currently represents New York's 18th District in the U.S. House of Representatives and was first elected in 2012. Representative Maloney currently serves on the House Agricultural Committee and the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee which is important to creating jobs and boosting the economy in the Hudson Valley. His priorities in Congress include strengthening the health and financial security of America's retirees, creating jobs and economic opportunity for New York families, investing and improving our infrastructure, and keeping our communities safe. Congressman John Katko was first elected to represent the 24th Congressional District in the U.S. House of Representatives in 2014 and he was re-elected for a second term in 2016. A Camillus, New York native, John left his 20-year career as a federal prosecutor to run for public office because he believes Central New York deserves strong, independent leadership in Washington. In Congress, John serves on the House Homeland Security Committee as chair of the Transportation Security Subcommittee. He also serves on the House Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure. Ladies and gentlemen, Please join me in welcoming Sean Patrick Maloney and Congressman John Cackle. And Sean, you're also a congressman. Just please go. as they promote 
moments. I look forward to seeing what you're all going to create someday. Uh, Washington, D.C. has some beautiful buildings, to be sure, um, but New York is one of a kind. Uh, and this is in part thanks to all of you. I'm pleased to be sharing the stage with a fellow New Yorker and my colleague in Congress, John Katko, to recognize your dedication uh, to building a safer and stronger New York. And we have seen from the Silver, Gold, and Platinum Awards, there are many outstanding and amazing projects being designed by our engineering firms uh, right here in New York. Uh, now, I suppose I have to let my co-host talk at some point, uh, but I just want to say one thing uh, off uh, script, John, which is that uh, I think it's... Uh, I think it's good that you and I share with folks how we approach our work. Um, I want you all to know that I represent a district that Donald Trump won, and I am a Democrat. And John, John represents a district that Hillary Clinton won, and he's a Republican. <laughs> so we either ought to switch districts or start working together. And I want you to know that despite what you hear, there are people like John Katko and I who are committed to working together uh, because that's what you deserve. And we're going to do that. Uh, and that is why uh, my tweet for the evening, in addition to having the hashtag uh, EEA New York 50th, uh, which is going to win me those Hamilton tickets, uh, has the hashtag bipartisanship. Go ahead, John. Take it away. Thank you very much, Sean, and good evening, everybody. Before I start my, uh, my talk here, I want to make a proclamation. I, John Kako, do hereby declare that as a Republican, if I win those tickets, I will take Sean with me to go see Lincoln. <laughs> I mean, uh, Hamilton. Oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Robin, he, he's saying that because Robin, his beautiful wife, and I already made a deal that she and I were going. <laughs> Didn't we, I'll, wait that, for you, I'll wait for you at the bar afterwards, that's fine. Uh, Can't trust them. Thank you, Sean. ACEC, New York's commitment to the next generation of engineers, is something to be applauded. We need the innovation and creativity of these young professionals, of these young professionals to keep America, and essentially New York, competitive. I know back home in Syracuse, they're replacing an aging eyesore in Interstate 81, and several options for this project are being considered as we speak. Regardless of the final selection, New York's engineers will be leading that effort to rebuild and redevelop that area. I am hopeful that when I'm back in Washington, Sean and I will find ways to make the necessary investments in our water, wastewater, transportation, energy, and other systems. Tonight, we are celebrating the great work that New York's engineers do throughout the world. So let's recognize this year's Diamond Awards. But before I do so, I want to digress for a moment as well and follow up on what Sean said. As we all know, Washington is mired in partisan gridlock. And it's going to take leaders from districts like Sean and districts like mine to break through that. And there's one area where absolutely positively we can find common ground, and we must find common ground, and that is to find a big, fat infrastructure bill that we can get past and get this country back where it should be as, a, as an infrastructure and people back to work. Yeah. Take it away, Sean. Thank you, John. Uh, these projects are in the top scores in each of the 11 uh, categories. As we read the winners, a copy of each project award winning panel will be shown on the screen above. After the last Diamond Award is presented, we will announce the Empire Award, which is presented to the highest rated project designed and built uh, in New York State. Uh, may I ask ACEC Chair-elect uh, Sash Bakori uh, and Engineering Excellence Committee Chair Eric Arsamont to join us here on the stage. And I would be remiss while they join us if I didn't say a special thank you to Jay Simmons and uh, his wife Sarah, who have always been so nice to me in the Congress. Thank you guys so much for all of your help. And we are thrilled to be here, uh, here with you tonight. And I also want to give a shout out to my own city of Poughkeepsie, New York, that is here. Rob Rollison, I know you're out there somewhere. We're going to award, uh, we're going to honor you shortly. Let's go, John. Thank you. Mark McEnany will be presenting plaques to winning member firms, and Satch Bakari will be presenting plaques to the winning clients. Thank you all for keeping conversations to a minimum. And in Congress, when people talk too loud, we go, 
He won't <laughs> do that to you tonight, but I have nightmares about Boehner and uh, subsequently uh, Paul Ryan doing that to us every time we're in meetings together. So let's show respect to our award winners and let's get, we'll get through this as quickly as possible. We will now present the first of 30 Diamond Awards. Right, so just the first of 30. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so if you, if you are successful in remaining quiet and respectful, it means that none of you are qualified to serve in the House of Representatives. <laughs> uh, for excellence, in the category of Studies, Research, and Consulting, uh, Chazen Engineering, for CalRock Connector Feasibility Study, accepting for the firm are Joe Lenaro, Vice President of Engineering, and Mike Barron, Project Manager, Structural Engineer. Accepting for the client are Tim Massey, board member of the Poughkeepsie Alliance, Rob Rollison, mayor of the city of Poughkeepsie, and Peter Barnard, urban designer for Scenic Hudson. <laughs> All right, the 18th District of New York. Hello, gentlemen. I see you, Tim. Hey, guys. How are you? Congratulations. Excellence in the category of Studies, Research, and Counseling, Consulting, excuse me, Sam Schwartz, Engineering, for a Brooklyn Queens Connector. Accepting for the firm are Sam Schwartz, President and CEO, Harris Sheckman, National Transit Director, and Julie Chang, General Manager for New York. Congratulations. Excellence in the category of Studies, Research, and Consulting. Congratulations. WSP Parsons Brinkerhoff for Amtrak Gateway Systems Design Project. Accepting for the firm are Bernie McNeely, Senior Vice President and Managing Partner, Irfan Anku, Vice President, and Joe Marie, Vice President. Accepting for the client is Jim Richter, Deputy Chief Engineer of Structures Amtrak. Also accepting the award are Julie Dorazio, uh, Senior Vice President for AECOM, and Rich Amode. Uh, Senior Vice President and Regional Manager for STV. In the interest of time, I'm, I'm told we're going to reserve the photos till at the end of the awards presentation. I hope that some of you may eat something before the evening is over. There you go. Thank you, Sean. For excellence <laughs> in the category of building technology systems, Dagger Engineering for VI for VIA Systems Innovations for the Court Scraper. Accepting for the firm are Richard Pearson, Principal, and Joseph Monafo, Associate Principal. Also accepting the award is Bayat Shank, Partner, BIG. Excellence in the category of Building Technology Systems, Jaros Baum and Bold for Jerome L. Green Science Center. Accepting for the firm are Mitchell Simpler, Managing Partner, and Scott Frank, Partner. Accepting for the client are Marcelo Velez, Vice President, and Wilmoth Elm, Associate Vice President of Engineering and Technical Services, Manhattanville Development at Columbia University. 
Also accepting the award is William Paxson, partner and executive architect, Davis Brody Bond. Guys. For excellence in the category of building technology systems, Lilker Associates Consulting Engineers. For the Beekman Hotel and Residence Ret Restoration, accepting for the firm are Bruce Lilker, President, and David Pan Tannenbaum, Senior Vice President. Accepting for the client is Eric Bass, Executive Vice President, GFI Development Company. Also accepting the award is Miguel Vacarcel, President, Gerner Kronick, and Vacarcel Architects. Congratulations. in the category of Building Technology Systems. ME Engineers for United States Tennis Association, Billie Jean King National Tennis Center. Accepting for the firm is Ed Bosco, Managing Principal, Charles Warner, Principal, and Mike Tortorella, Principal. Accepting for the client is Danny Zausner, Chief Operating Officer, National Tennis Center, and Chuck Jetmar, Managing Director, Capital Projects and Engineering, National Tennis Center, United States Tennis Association. Also accepting the award are Dave Richards, Principal and Chief Operating officer. Well, Sean is shaking hands. I'll, I want to make an announcement myself here, and that is that uh, based on a certain person in the White House, I made a unilateral decision to put myself in Twitter timeout until further notice. <laughs> <laughs> For excellence in the category of structural systems, Amon and Whitney, an ACOM joint venture. For William Preston Lane Jr., bridge main cable rewrapping and dehumidification. Accepting for Amon and Whitney, long span bridge division of Lewis Berger is Philip Valdegal, associate. Accepting for ACOM is Barry Colford, senior vice president. in the category of structural systems, Buckland and Taylor, a County North American company. For World Trade Center Transportation Hub Erection Engineering, accepting the award for the firm is Daryl Matson, Senior Vice President. Accepting for the client is Dan Paella, Vice President Skanska. Also accepting the award is Stephen Plott, Chief of Major Capital Projects, Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. Congratulations. Excellence in the category of 
Structural Systems. Gilzans uh, Murray Steffick for American Physical Society. Accepting for the firm are Raymond Gilsons, partner, Joseph Basil, partner, and Kathy Huang, associate partner. Accepting for the client is Mark Beacon, director of facilities, American Physical Society. Also accepting the award are Guido Hartray, partner, Marvel Architects, and Barry LePatner, partner, LePatner and Associates. For excellence in the category of structural systems, GZA Geo Environmental of New York for Silver Star Mercedes Queens. Accepting for the firm are Michael Chow, senior consultant, and Cassandra Wetzel, associate principal. Congratulations. For excellence in the category of structural systems, Hardesty and Hanover for Arthur Rash Stadium Retractable Roof. Accepting for the firm are Paul Skelton, Principal, Craig Johnson, Director, Kinetic Systems Group, and Brian Hamill, Chief Engineer, Kinetic Systems Group. Accepting for the client are Charles Jetmar, Managing Director, Capital Projects and Engineering, and Daniel Zausner, Chief Operating Officer, United States Tennis Association. Excellence in the category of structural systems, Thornton Tomasetti and Hardesty and Hanover joint venture for U.S. Bank Stadium. Accepting for Thornton Tomasetti is Thomas Duffy, associate principal. Accepting for the client is Kevin Taylor, principal and project manager, HKS Architects. Congratulations. Excellence in the category of surveying and mapping technology. Langen Engineering for St. Patrick's Cathedral Restoration. Accepting the award for the firm are Andrew Sionsian, uh, Sionsia, Managing Principal, excuse me, Art Zamora, Al Zamora, I'm going to get those names somewhat right, Senior Associate, and Paul Fisher, Senior Associate, representing the client, but unfortunately unable to join us this evening, are Reverend Monsignor Robert Ritchie, Rector St. Patrick's Cathedral, and Julie Gaden, Principal, Zubatkin owner representation. Also accepting the award is Jeffrey Murphy, founding partner Murphy Burnham and, Bo uh, and Boutrick Architects. This project also won the best panel award. For excellence in the environmental category, Langan Engineering, for 365 Bond. Accepting for the firm are Chris McMahon, Associate, Amanda Forsberg, Project Scientist, and Jessica Frischia, Senior Staff Engineer. Accepting for the client are Pamela Horn, Development Director, and Frank List, Construction Director, Lightstone Group. Congratulations. Excellence in the waste and stormwater category. CBNI Baker Gannett Fleming Joint Venture for interim upgrade of Newton Creek wastewater treatment plant, accepting for Michael Baker International are Dale Spaulding, Chief Operating Officer, Iris Gilboyu, uh, Associate, and Mike uh, Breschen, uh, Brescia, Northeast Regional Director. Accepting for CBNI is Tyson Hackenberg, Vice President. <laughs> 
Accepting for Gannett Fleming is uh, Bodiois uh, Papa Michael, Vice President. Accepting for the client is Nat Federici, Acting Portfolio Manager, New York City Department of Environmental Protection. Excellence in the wastewater and stormwater category, PW Grocer Consulting for Meshut County Park Wastewater Upgrades. Accepting for the firm are Paul Grocer, President, Brian Grogan, Senior Project Manager, and Paul Boyce, Senior Vice President. Accepting on behalf of the client are Gil Anderson, Commissioner, Michael Monahan, Chief Engineer, and Christopher Deutsch, Architect, Suffolk County Department of Public Works. Congratulations. in the water resources category. Hazen and Sawyer and AECOM joint venture for Croton Water Filtration Plant. Accepting for Hazen and Sawyer are Edward Barobe, Vice President, and Matthew uh, Vallad, Vice President. Accepting for AECOM is Paul Storella, Senior Vice President. Accepting for the client is Michael uh, Borsakowski, Assistant Commissioner. Excellence in the transportation category, CHA Consulting, for Cleveland Drive over I-90 bridge replacement. Accepting for the firm are Frank Delsignor, Project Manager, and Lee Eckert, Senior Vice President. Accepting for the client is Richard Lee, Chief Engineer, New York State Thruway. Diamond projects are all exceptional, but only one will win the Empire Award tonight. Since 2010, the projects that have received the Empire Award have made a significant impact on life in New York State. Now we'd like to take a moment to honor those projects. The Empire Award is given to the top-rated Diamond Award project designed and built entirely in New York State. The following firms have earned the ACEC New York Empire Award. CNS Engineers, Midler City Industrial Park Brownfield Remediation. HDR, Woodbury Toll Barrier Highway Speed Easy Pass. WSB Parsons Brinkerhoff, World Trade Center Memorial and Museum. Hazen and Sawyer and CH2M. R&D of nitrogen removal for the NYC DEP. Thornton Tomasetti, Brooklyn Botanic Garden Visitor Center. Jaros Baum and Bowls, One World Trade Center. WSP Parsons Brinkerhoff, Number 7 Line Subway Extension. I know it's getting a little long here. We got two thirds of the way through, so hang there and try and keep your conversations to a minimum, if you would, please. Thank you. Please join us in congratulating these past Empire Award winners for their exceptional work. We have 10 more Diamond Awards to recognize, then we will find out which New York project will be added to this exceptional list of Empire Award winners.
For excellence in the transportation category, Downtown Design Partnership, a STV ACOM joint venture in association with Parsons Transportation Group and Santiago Calatrava for World Trade Center Transportation Hub. Accepting for STV are Dominic Cervetio, Executive Chairman, and Scott McIntyre, Senior Vice President. Accepting for ACOM is Chris Ward, New York Metro Regional Executive. Accepting for Parsons is Charles Manning, Senior Vice President. Accepting for the client uh, is Stephen Plate, Chief of Major Capital Projects, Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. Hello, Chris. Nice to see you again. <laughs> How are you, buddy? And the award for best footwear goes to Chris Ward. Give him another applause. He did better in the other car. He butchered my name. He better not tweet those. in the transportation category, HDR, for MBTA Government Center Station. Accepting for their firm are Donald Swartz, Project Manager, Eli Corey, East Region Transportation Director, and Ruth Krieger, Senior Architect. Excellence in the transportation category. John Derkowski and Associates for Alexander Hamilton Bridge. Accepting for the firm is John Derkowski, President. Accepting for the client is John uh, Needhart, Neidhart, Supervisor, Bridge Construction Unit, New York State Department of Transportation. Did I get that someone right? Neidhart? Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Congratulations. Excellence in the Special Projects category, CH2M, RBA, and WXY. Given all these names, I'm going to now change my name from John Catco to JMK. <laughs> for Rockway Boardwalk construction, Reconstruction, accepting for CH2M is Jonathan Goldstick, Vice President, and Domenica Stasiak, Project Manager. Accepting for the client is Patrick Askew, Executive Vice President, New York City Economic Development Corporation. Congratulations. Excellence in the category of special projects, infrastructure engineering, for Maggie Daly Park. Accepting for the firm is Michael Sutton, President and CEO. Excellence in the category of special projects, Lang and Engineering for 56 Leonard Street. Accepting for the firm are Tassos, 
Papa Nisigo, Senior Associate, Andrew Ciancia, Managing Principal, and Costis Costas Singros, Senior Project Manager. special projects, NV5, for Plata de las Americas, accepting for the firm are Linda Reardon, Senior Vice President, Joseph Menzer, Chief Engineer, and Alex Berryman, Principal Landscape Architect. Accepting for the client are Fenioski, Dana Mora, Commissioner, and Eric McFarlane, Deputy Commissioner, New York City, Department of Design and Construction. in the category of special projects, STV and ACOM, formerly URS Joint Venture, for reconstruction of Route 9A in Lower Manhattan. Accepting for STV is Thomas Mellett, Vice President, and Richard Emaday, Senior Vice President. Accepting for ACOM is Donald Ramada, Vice President. Accepting for the client are Bruce O'Garrick, Regional Construction Engineer, and Chenay Shah, Engineer in Charge, New York State Department of Transportation. Congratulations.
the Empire Award goes to Downtown Design Partnership and STV, a e-com joint venture in association with Parsons Transportation Group and Santiago Calatrava for World Trade Center Transportation Hub. The World Trade, uh, the World Trade Center Transportation Hub is a key component of the redevelopment of Lower Manhattan in the aftermath of September 11th. It serves as a portal to the 16-acre World Trade Center site, providing seamless public access for more than two, 20, uh, 250,000 daily users of the PATH station and integrates with 10 Metropolitan Transportation Authority New York City Transit subway lines. The facility also provides internal pathways to the site's office towers and features nearly 400,000 square feet of retail space. The entrant was the architect and engineer of record working closely with the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey and an unprecedented number of stakeholders including local, state, and federal agencies. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you to the ACEC for this great honor. I'm proud to be here with my dear friends Dominic Savidio and Chris Ward. This has truly been a journey for a lifetime. I also want to congratulate the entire audience here this evening for your collective efforts, hard work, and dedication in making New York City the capital of the world. I'm also honored to be here this evening with my colleagues and dear friends from the Port Authority. As we started to rebuild the site, the men and women of the Port Authority, the unions, and countless other stakeholders knew they had a higher calling. This massive group of engineers and architects led by the Port Authority and STV and ACOM including many of you in this room, enabled us to create this great masterpiece. Everyone in the room tonight is a winner because we were all able to come together and keep our great city strong and positioned for the best future ever. Following the tragic events of 9-11, we all embarked upon this emotional and nationally important project. Rebuilding of this site was one of the most significant projects in modern history. From the darkness came light, and we all rebounded together. We could not have done it this, long, this alone. We were able to bring light and life back to the World Trade Center, the city, the country, and even the world. We know that we had to succeed and send a message that the darkness of that day would be overshadowed by the goodness and determination of our great generation. God bless you all and God bless America. Well, thank you all for joining us tonight for the 2017 Engineering Excellence Awards. Uh, John and I have enjoyed very much acting as your MCs tonight.
congratulations to all the winners and a special congratulations to our Empire Award winner. A truly magnificent project. Please note the photo room will open at 9.15 and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you, folks. Thank you all.